Hey guys, Community Pat here. We are getting ready to start with an unboxing of Star Saga. Uh, thanks for everyone for staying up. I know it's very late for some of you guys, uh, slightly early for some of the rest of you guys in the uh, West Coast. So here we go. Star Saga unboxing. This is what you're going to get coming soon at the other side. Uh, nice looking box. All right. Uh, one to five. Get to see what the stuff you get in the back. Uh, right there. We're gonna. If anyone asks, retail. Uh, Eighty bucks, seventy nine ninety nine. I'm almost positive that's the ninety nine. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started with the unboxing. All right. Let me uh, boot the camera here. All right, just like everything else, comes in a nice little, nice little box. On top comes your uh, mission books. Slide this over first. Uh, you get the the Eris contracts, the mission book, and then you get the Star Saga rule booklet. Uh, let's flip through the booklet here. Uh, Nice detailed content situation that you're going to get. Uh, you're going to get all the awesome star furniture, uh, star science fiction furniture that you got going on over there. Those will also be uh, available in the train crates in the future, as well as all the miniatures that you see listed over there. Talks about uh, setting up nice and clear and uh, distinct rules, nice and Nice color pictures. Uh, different uh, So, pretty much just like any other books, it walks you through it. Uh, unlike Dungeon Saga, though, uh, let me see if I can find it. You're going to get the rules within uh, within the rule book itself and how to play this co-op with the game a, uh, as an AI. Uh, it's listed in the rules somewhere. I wish I could find it for you guys right now, but uh, I just can't remember where it's at without... Uh, tying up all the times here without showing other things. So we'll move on to the Eris contract rule booklet. This is your scenario booklet. Story on all the different characters. This is right here. Nice little uh, paragraph on each of the different characters you can play throughout uh, the Star Saga campaign. The different key personnel, the bad guys, listed on the, the right there in red. And then just like Dungeon Saga, you're going to start off with uh, pre-missions. Mission A uh, tells you how to uh, shoot and move again. It's going to walk you through the basics, explains how everything works. Mission B. Uh, then you get to uh, mission A is actually just a one hero. You're going to use. Um, actually, doesn't say who you get to use. Uh, and then here you work with uh, as a team to finish the mission. And then the last one, it's uh, using all the different things. That come in with searching deployables, deployable guns. Uh, and then we move on to the first mission. Uh, continues all the way up into mission number, let me say eight. Nope, nope, goes all the way to mission nine. So, put the map in the back. All right, so the robot. Now moving on to the box. 
we're going to open it up. You get some more of the nice tile system, measuring sticks, different different styles, enemy deployment zone markers. Some more tiles there, different sizes and shapes. Again, double sided. Whoops. Oh God. Everything's falling apart. A little, little nice little flame template. And uh, here we go. Uh, I see uh, Coach is over there screaming for some minis. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show the cards. <laughs> Player deck cards. Let's open them up. Player character cards. Here are the different missions. Your health marker, your stat markers, and here's your experience track. Uh, one of the big differences of between this and Dungeon Saga is uh, you're going to be able to level your character up in game, uh, as opposed to at the end of Dungeon Saga and some of the different campaigns you would level them up after the the campaign is done. So you can change in your uh, your experience points in game, which is uh, I thought was really great. Uh, the five main characters you get the shooter, you got Rat, the hand to hand guy, you got the droid, who's your com main computer hacker, you got the dwarf, who is your secondary hacker, but also has a lot of deployables, and then the heat, the, the psychic healer. Standard baddies come. Just a regular co commander. Well, these are the actual name bad guys. The Enforcer. The Aberration. And Doctor. Then we got the Minion deck. Uh, so I see someone asking about the size. So these cards right here are regular deck size cards. Uh, any of the magic sleeves that you would use with 50s ones. Uh, so these ones are little oversized deck cards. Uh, I, I don't know the classification size of these character cards. Uh, um, but if these are standard deck, this is what this is. Uh, in red... You get your minion cards, the lab tech, security guard, corporal, uh, corporation marines, plague victims, corporation rangers, and then the corporation with flamethrower. Uh, then you get what's called, these are all out of order here, your deployables. These are what the, the dwarf will get to use. And then you have the Nexus card. This is Nexus deck. This is basically the GM Dungeon Master is deck that allows you to do the bad things. And when I played the the Nexus, uh, some of these cards are pretty rough. So unlike uh, Dungeon Saga, where you can turn a card in for more command points. You can either play the card as what it does, or you can go down here and play it for the points that it's worth uh, to give you more command points. So if you only had two command points for the scenario and you wanted to use a couple more to move more minions, you could trade in a card for two more command points. Uh, there's several levels to the command deck, or the... Nexus deck, and then Psychic Powers, for those who have the Psychic Powers. All right, so those are the standard decks. Uh, and then these are the smaller, these are on par of the Arkham Horror size deck cards. Uh, these are your skills. So when you get enough experience points, 
You can trade these in to upgrade any one of your skills. Uh, a quick rundown on how that works. When you have enough to turn in, you deal yourself three. Pick one of the three. Uh, mission bonuses. Different things you can do to get more items. And then you have the loot deck. The loot deck is what you would, when you search, say, a desk or a chest or a table in Star Saga, you're going to pull from the loot deck. And it could be a various things of like a meta pack, a laser assault rifle, armor piercing ammunition, energy shield, and energy bar, in case you're hungry. And the last thing in the deck is the rare items. These are special things you can pick up throughout the different games. All right, now we'll move on to the figs for everyone else. Starting with the different furniture coming out. Desks, canisters, crates, uh, computer monitors, you paint them up, um, bookshelves, different types of desks, uh, and you got the, then you got the doors that are going to be standard in the turning deck, sci-fi doors, which uh, you don't have much of as far as that's concerned. Uh, a weapons rack. Uh, a lot of these furniture would be great for a sci-fi campaign. Smaller doors, bigger doors. And yes, definitely if you wanted to play in more Dead Zone, you definitely use these and make an inside Dead Zone map. Uh, which is awesome. So, you can get all this furniture. Pile it out there for you. That's all your furniture you're going to get in the main box set. If you kick started, who knows what more you're going to get. Uh, and this is a harder plastic. If you, I don't know if you can hear it. It's not the soft little resin kind of stuff that you got with uh, the figs. Uh, the figures themselves are a little more softer, the softer plastic. But uh, these these furniture ones are definitely hard plastic. Get these off the side. And now we'll move on to the figs. So. A married of different figs, corporate ranger, the new enforcer fig, some more corporate marines, the new Chovar psychic, uh, hope you can see that. Uh, lab tech, all right. How's that? Is that better? Uh, the softer stuff takes paint well. Uh, it primes fa fa fairly well. Uh, if you have an airbrush, uh, airbrush priming is always better than can priming. It's still blurry. Sorry about that. Might be the stream. You can get a vermin. One of the heroes. Uh, 
the new raft. One of the plague victims. Uh, if there's going to be a plague team for Dreadball, it's a good looking Dreadball player. One of the deployables. This deployable gun, sentry gun. It's available to the, the Forge Father player. Another hero, the droid. Nice little sphere. Here's the Forge Father hero. Another plague victim. A new survivor figure. A little bit different pose than the other survivor figure that we had back in the day. Some more minions. Here's the psychic healer. I think Elise is her name. Uh, they'll be shipping to Kickstarters at the end of November. Retail beginning in December. Another plague victim, aberration kind of looking thing. And the last but not least, the new Blaine. With his beefy shoulder pads. Last thing that comes in the box. Get your dice bag and the new dice. Uh, blue dice are your defense dice. Uh, I don't know what color that is. Salmon? <laughs> uh, salmon for your attack dice. Think you know what about the dice? There are three symbols. You get a small splat, a big splat, and a splat with an exclamation point. Uh, the big one is the biggest hit you can get. The one without the exclamation point, the second biggest, and that is your, whoops, smallest hit. And then the resulting counterparts, this sh defense shield will cancel out all hits. This will cancel out the medium and small hits, and then that will only cancel out the smallest hits. So it's uh, easier to figure out. Just rolling dice, what you need to do. So those two cancel each other out. It was fair. Uh, this cancels everything out except for that. Uh, but that's it. That's what comes in the in the box set. Uh, the only thing missing is the aberration. Uh, I didn't get that with our little demo set here, uh, but that's the all it is all these figs plus the aberration, all that comes in that box. Whoops!
If anyone's got any questions, I will hopefully try and answer as best as I can. Uh, the dice mechanics. Uh, Uh, let's see, uh, defense and attack dice. Like I said, the two biggest, these are the two biggest hits. I can't see what I'm doing. The ones with exclamation points. This is the biggest hit you can get. This is the biggest defense you get. These two cancel out, but this one also cancel out any of these or any of those. This cancels out just this one and this one, but not that one. So if we just play this game and this is the only one, um, then this defense does not cancel out that attack, so point of damage goes through. And then Vice, uh, the last one is the two smallest ones. And of course, a blank is a blank. So a little easier with the dice mechanics than in Dungeon Saga. Uh, yes, from my understanding, creating your own hero will be an expansion. So, yeah, everything will be shipping in waves. Yeah, that's true. Uh, there's a ton of ton of figures and plenty, plenty to paint uh, before the waves come on. Uh, retail release will definitely be before Christmas. Should be in the beginning of December. Oh, you want to see the box insert? Sure. Uh, you're going to get a form-fitted plastic compartment stuff for here. The cards fit nicely here. Character cards go here. Enough room for all your figs and uh, like that. There's plenty of time to get this guy painted up for if you're going to be at Adepticon uh, for the Brush with Death Mantic paint competition that we'll be holding in the Mantic game room. Uh, it should hold the sleeve cards. It's not super tight uh, where the cards sit. Whoops. Actually, what I would like to see is someone paint this guy up. I think this guy would look awesome. He's got himself a uh, little pinchers, some kind of little chemical ray gun going on. Tell us more about the Adepticon Brush of Death. Best of you Brush of Death. I'll be making, as we get closer to Adepticon, probably after Thanksgiving. Uh, we will be having a Mantic sponsored painting competition. I uh, haven't actually figured out all the categories yet, but most likely it'll be single models, uh, fantasy, sci-fi, single models, two different categories, uh, fantasy unit, sci-fi unit, uh, probably vehicles. Uh, uh, real Thanksgiving was is in November. Fake Thanksgiving was last Monday. So, uh, yeah, the, the uh, Star Saga, if you make a hero band, definitely count as a unit for sci-fi. So that would be awesome to look, to see. Uh, my goal is to get start getting people to painting Manning models and uh, 
to enter them in the brush of death, uh, we will either have the, the figure case displaying everyone's painted models, either in the booth or in the Mantic room. Uh, this year we're going to have a Mantic room. Don't worry, I enjoy Canadian Thanksgiving many times when I was dating a, uh, my high school girlfriend from Canada who was away from camp. So I'm working the logistics out about getting the room. Uh, the problem with leaving the room up there is then at night the the case will kind of be unwatched, and I don't I'm not happy with people's models getting touched or taken. Well, there will be a mandroom just kind of like what we had last year. Uh, so it will be open at night. So uh, yes, uh, just like Dungeon Saga, we will continue to support Star Saga. We just released um, the, the latest expansion for Dungeon Saga, Edge of the Abyss. So uh, once all the waves get through and people have started playing and uh, we will start to release uh, more Star Saga stuff. Uh, even look for a Dead Zone slash Warpath summer campaign, which will probably include an expansion for Saw Saga and everything like that. So, All right, uh, any other questions with Star Saga? I hope you uh, enjoyed the little unboxing. I just wanted to get a little boxing out there. We will have a more formal unboxing uh, being recorded, things like that. I just thought it'd be nice to do a live unboxing because, you know, it doesn't really happen all that often. And I was like, why not do a live unboxing while we have it here? Uh, the nameless faction for Dead Zone, that is a coach question. <laughs> the unboxed copy actually is my own copy. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you for staying up late. This will be on the YouTube channel, so anyone who didn't get a chance to see it, uh, you can always come back to uh, YouTube and watch it again. Um, so look forward to the official unboxing, not official unboxing, but the more formal unboxing. Uh, and uh, feel free to comment, email me at communitypet at mantagames.com if you have any questions, things like that, all right? All right, guys, we'll see you in a bit.